In this example, I'm going to find the pH value of a 0.15 molar HCl solution. Now, the formula for the pH is simply the negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Now, the concentration of the hydrogen ion can be found from this information because when you put hydrochloric acid in water, it dissolves into hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. So the concentration of HCl is actually also the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Therefore, the pH value is simply the negative log of 0 0.15. And that gives me 0 0.823. After seeing how we found the pH value for the HCl solution, we can use a similar method to find the pH value for a sodium hydroxide solution. Now, sodium hydroxide is a base, so instead of finding the pH, I'm going to find the pOH, which is actually found the same way as the pH, only now I use the concentration of the OH minus ion. Now, the concentration of OH minus ion is the same as the concentration for the sodium hydroxide, because like with the um, hydrogen chloride, sodium hydroxide splits into the sodium ion and the hydroxide ion when placed in water. So the concentration of the hydroxide ion is also 0 0.15 m. Now the pOH is then found the same way as before, the negative log of 0 0.15, which gives me again 0 0.823. But the connection between pOH and pH is really as simple. 14 equals pH plus pOH. So the pH is simply 14 minus the pOH, which means that the pH for this solution is 14 minus 0 0.823, which gives me 13.177.